Hello, everybody. Spirit would like to bring a message through to help somebody out right now. So if this reading resonates and fits, it is for you. So let's see this message from Spirit. This is lovely. You have a sacred task to fulfill. Spirit wants you to know that. You feel that inside. You feel the calling. You feel drawn into it. All right, but you may be resisting. You may be, be um, feeling like, well, is this just wishful thinking? Or is this just a projection? And Spirit is saying, no, you have a sacred task to fulfill, to complete, and you're feeling the calling of that. All right, next is the Spirit Bear 396. So there is some shifting that needs to take place within your life, your reality, your mind, your heart, okay? In some area, there's a shift that needs to take place. And part of this shift is nurturing, is caring, is love. And this is nurturing for yourself and nurturing for this calling that you're feeling inside of you. Spirit really wants you to acknowledge that. And look, this is card five. This is card 15. Fives are all about challenges and changes, okay? And you are in the midst of that right now. But it's because it's shifting you and changing you and preparing you for this task, this destiny within. All right, okay. And so this is a message from Spirit. Those of you that are just feeling very, very lost, very, very unsure, to connect to the light within. Call in the angels. Talk to spirit. Talk to your spirit guides. Talk to your passed on loved ones. They can't do the work for us, but they can certainly give us clues and light the path and bring us comfort and healing and nourishment of the soul when we need it, when we're feeling lonely, when we're feeling low and lost and unsure, okay? The um, spirit bear, there's a lot of nurturing spiritual energy around you trying to provide you that light, okay? to follow the destiny that's calling you within. Spirit is confirming. So let's pull some tarot and go a bit deeper. temperance at the center and this goes back to all that spiritual energy that is around you okay hanged man definitely feeling stuck and sure and certain don't know which way to go don't know if what you're feeling is real or if it's just hopeful wishful look at and then you got the hero fit right there ace of swords you're going to have a breakthrough it sits right under that hanged man oh look at that ace of pentacles the sun, five of pentacles, and ten of wands. Okay, you, uh, you are surrounded by a lot of spiritual energy, and you feel that, okay? And as this is just a general message, Spirit is trying to touch and speak to many of you through one message, okay? So where is it in your life? where you feel this calling, you feel this destiny, but you feel lost, confused, weak, unsure, uncertain, unable to follow it through. Where does that exist for you? Because see, we're stuck there because we can't quite um, see the puzzle fit together. We can't quite see the path ahead. We're not sure which choice to make or we feel this calling but what does it even mean, spirit? What am I even feeling? Okay, so it's just like a lot of confusion. And here's spirit. 
back to this uh, spirit bear energy and the temperance there are angels around you there are spirit guides around you there are passed on loved ones around you and all of them are giving you nurturing trying to help rebalance your energy emotionally mentally spiritually bring order to the area of your life where you are feeling that chaos okay because there's this preparation also being made and every time I see the ten of wands I know that there's some spiritual lessons involved in the path in the journey and whatever you've been experiencing or going through and this ends um, the spread so I know that as you connect to this higher calling it's because you're finally ready to fulfill that destiny um, you've learned everything you needed to know and the Sun here sitting in front of the five of Pentacles and the ten of wands lets me know that as you align to this destiny you are going to shift out of uh, poverty consciousness feeling on the outside feeling lackful uh, feeling rejected okay and the heavy heavy burdens through the ten of wands you're coming to an end of that the Sun is the most positive card in the tarot deck and the Sun is coming in over these energies okay but it's because you're going to be answering this call of destiny finally and it's going to be very natural it's going to be very organic and right now you're just in this space kind of like darkness great confusion and spirit is trying to help you through that because you are going to have a beautiful manifestation on the other side some of you um if this is all about finances huge huge improvement coming all right you are going to feel this and the universe is going to align inspired action to take places to be things to do things to say follow that through and your spirit guides your angels your passed on loved ones are lighting that path so that you cannot miss it okay and i have to i want to pull some clarifiers but some of the smaller deck fell onto the floor that i want to use now so hold on i just have to grab what fell on the floor okay so let's clarify this a little further I'm sorry if you hear a buzzing sound um, as soon as I started the video somebody started mowing their lawn out there so someone's trimming the grass Right. Eight of Wands, yeah, you're getting a lot of messages from the spirit realm. Eight of Cups, see, you're going to walk away from this hangman energy. You're going to choose a cup, a path, get your clarity, get your understanding, whatever it is that you need, all these cups. And then here, Knight of Cups, the cup has been chosen. And look at spirit is helping you out of this Five of Pentacles energy. Will of Fortune, yes, it's time to answer the call of this destiny. Um, this manifestation is going to happen and it's going to grow. It's going to split. There's so much more to come. And Ten of Pentacles on the Sun. See, things are really shifting here. Um, the Death card, I love that. A death to the Five of Pentacles. We knew that. We knew that. And Seven of Cups on the Ten of Wands you are finally finding your way so you've had the five of pentacles and the seven of cups show twice through each deck so those are two very strong predominant energies that you are dealing with right now the seven of cups confusion choice uncertainty wondering if you're just daydreaming rather than being realistic about yourself your life okay and then that five of pentacles um, feeling very lackful, feeling on the outside, looking in, feeling like you don't have enough, feeling unworthy, feeling rejected, feeling out in the cold, okay? Those are two very strong energies that you've been dealing with and Spirit's coming through to let you know it's been a preparation for you to answer this calling of destiny within and the time is upon you. You have learned all the lessons, okay? And it's time now for for you to answer this call and I see you doing that right here choosing your cup 
choosing your path, choosing your way, answering that call, and feeling really good in that, all right? And again, that call is something a little different for each of you, as this is a general read. But if this is resonating and you're like, yes, yes, this is spirit talking to you, okay? Look at this, eight of wands with temperance right there at the center. Yes, spirit is talking to you. Spirit is looking at you. Spirit is shining the light on you and you feel that and you know that and this is your sign, your confirmation that you've been asking for. Here it is, right from spirit. And once you realize, okay, I've been on this spiritual journey because there is this calling, it is real. And even if I can't quite define it in this moment, the answers are going to come because I've done the work. I've learned the lessons. You have all this spiritual energy around you, guiding you, assisting you, really trying to help you see the bigger picture, uh, see be able to decipher that intuitive energy that you're feeling around this calling. You're walking away from this hanged man, confusion, uncertainty, um, feeling stuck, stagnated, inability to move forward. You finally are getting what you need, but it's because you've completed this journey, this process to where you are now aligning energetically to that calling within. And it's a very, very beautiful thing for you. All right. So I just want to pull a couple angel cards um, to see what uh, these spiritual energies are, the strongest spir spiritual energies are, and what they're gifting you. And you know, just because uh, the, somebody started mowing their lawn and it's that hum. It's taking me to like vibration, to frequency, back to spirit bear, 396 hertz, okay? Uh, maybe listen to some meditative music with that frequency within it, and it will also help balance you out. All right, angel of the night sky. Angel of Determination and Angel of Past Lives. Wow. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> part of this calling of destiny is something that you have worked on in previous lifetime, you know, and we do see the, the spiritual journey and lessons here with the Ten of Wands, and you are coming to the end of that. You are completing that. Angel of the Night Sky. Pay attention to the dreams like you are getting a lot of information on the astral plane each and every night. OK, seeing feathers in your reality, seeing shooting stars in your reality that those are signs from your angels, from your spirit guides, from your past on loved ones. Also, the full moon. You are coming into manifestation three and two. There's another five right there. And look at um, we got the five of uh, pentacles twice challenges and changes and we picked up on that fives energy um at the start of the read and so yeah you've been in this period of change and challenge but here it is in card nine the angel of determination you're elevating you're rising you're expanding you're answering that call and see they are lighting the path for you you will get signs synchronicities clues but we have to do the work we do the work. We make the magic. They just help us. All right. Um, that's why they're called guides, because they help keep us out of danger. You know, they can alert us to things. Um, they can help align us to some really positive stuff. But it, it's all our choice in what we do. And they really want you to know that. But you are at that point where it's time to answer the call within, the call of your destiny. You're ready, and this has been lifetimes in the making for you. And uh, for a lot of you with this Pentacles energy, if this is around finances, some of you have this gift, talent, ability, idea, and it's time to act on that. You will go very, very far with it, all right? Start with what you have right now, 
today. So that is the message for spirit for you. If this really resonated, this is your reading. All right. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.